Did you know it cost more than a cent to make a cent? You didn't get it from me. Either way, today we're back finally with some extreme cheapskate. I was going to do wife swap, but I just sort of wanted to throw something new in there. So please let me know how you feel about this. To be honest, I don't know this person name. I don't know what's going on. All I know is they're quirky as fuck and they save money. They just like me. They're just like me and you here. We're watching our best fucking friend. But to get back on track, if you new here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, get notified anytime I upload a video because some of these videos come out in two parts. You don't wanna miss the second one. I'm surprised I got that through. Another thing, I still have the Discord. If you join the Discord, I'm gonna be back talking in there eventually. Y'all know what's going on. If you're not in the Discord and you wanna chill, hang out, talk, smoke, play the game, maybe I got a Minecraft server, all of those good things. Join the Discord, link is gonna be in the description. On that note, let's take our cool asses right into the episode and see ways that we can save money. I do believe that laundry detergent does run a scam on people. Bro, stop that shit. Stop that shit. No way in hell you washing a load of clothes with a syringe. That is filthy. I don't even want to get into the specific. Listen, the video just started. I'm not finna talk about your ass, but you gotta wash your ass and the thing that carry the batus, bro. How are you using a syringe on your shirt, pants, socks, and boxes? Panties. What are you doing here? That's the dirtiest shit I think I've seen so far. And what makes it crazy is it gets worse from here. I learned how to conserve my detergent by my method at work, drawing blood, by using the amount that I put inside of the syringe. It weighs out correctly, so I'm not overdoing it. I mean, yeah, I guess that worked. Or you could, you know, use the measuring cup they give you. They literally bless you with the measuring cup. Why are you using a syringe? She used the excuse that she worked in the medical field. I used to work at a plasma center. I did not go taking plasma with needles, needles to come home and take detergent with needles. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like she's giving the case for strong crackhead energy. That's some crackhead shit right there. But who am I to judge? I'm in a pinch right now. I need to be taking notes. I have to learn how to penny pinch like a pro. Gonna save this. I collect lint from the dryer, first off, because it's clean. Secondly, I don't have to buy cotton swabs. So I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. What did she just say? And you know what? I could easily come on here and be like, bah, 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 bah. but to be fair, that makes sense. Not ideal, but it makes sense. It ain't nothing but cotton that's, I guess, been washed and dried. But the fabric's so loose, you putting nothing but dirt on your face, dust on your face. Now, for the whole nail situation, using it to take off the nail polish, that makes sense. That's a W idea. I cannot sit here and just bash this lady. But using it on your face is crazy. I could never, bro. If you don't spend $2, go get some cotton pads and call it a day. Fuck it, you can reuse the cotton pads, you feel me? One side, get the, uh-huh. And then the next day, maybe flip it over on the back if you in a pinch like this, I don't recommend this shit. But I see the idea, you feel me? I'm not just out here bashing it. Nails, we're all good here. Face, get that shit out of here. Stephanie has countless money saving tactics. By using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room, she saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. Yo, see, and I'm not going to cap. This is not some shit I would do because I am lazy. But if you have the dedication, you know how long one pack of light bulbs could last you? Listen, I had like eight, where my light bulbs at, bro? I had like eight boxes of light bulbs and none of them fit my window. Bro, my light, what am I talking about right now? She actually just blew my mind. Maybe I've been using light bulbs wrong my whole life. All you gotta do is take it out walk around a little bit, put it back in. Stephanie has a good job. She works at a doctor's office. She, she does have a lot of money saved up. She doesn't want to spend nothing. It's just ridiculous, but I do it because I love Stephanie, so. You know, and bro a good person, because me personally, I'm not spending the night over your house 
If I gotta take the light bulb out at three o'clock, the devil's time to go take a, a, a early morning, late night poo poo. Cause I'm not finna shit in the dark. And if I wake up stomach bubbling, bro, you got me fucked up if you think I'm finna stand at this fucking light switch unscrew the light bulb then do my little i got a dookie shimmy to the bathroom while still doing my i got a dookie shimmy then turning the light on screwing the light in mind you my stomach is yelling at my brain that something gotta get out it's either the poo out my stomach or me out the house i can't do that bro but he's a champion shouts out to him bro if he's sticking around good for him he must enjoy it house we have what we call navy shower i go in turn water on reach my body off lather your body down make sure you get every area turn it back on reach the soap off my body i'm a grown ass man i should be able to just get in there and take a manly shower yo bro not lying there's no way in hell you time in my first i got a dookie in the dark now i gotta fucking have a equation of how long i can shower what are we doing here stephanie i want to hold you accountable because if you if you barely washing your clothes, you barely washing your ass. At this point, I think you barely brushing your teeth. He is a bigger trooper than I thought because it has to go. The smells alone in that house have to go disgusting. Bro, you better not ever, ever have a hard day and go over her house. Because if you think you finna shower and get that shit off, you can't, brother. You got stinky dookie nuts all day trying to hang out with Stephanie. I don't know what that just was, but I mean it. This is my reusable boiling water. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my water bill by cutting on the water and putting more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. No, there's no way. This is taking it too fucking far. You have chunky boiling water, and I get saving your pasta water. Listen, I've had a lot of careers. I used to work in kitchens. I got a culinary degree. We save pasta water often, but what we don't do is save pasta water for days on end. Brother, that's like a shift type ordeal. You could do a couple batches in that water, but all day? Are you crazy? Are you are you literally insane? I that turned my stomach. Fuck the showers. Fuck the whatever she was, the, the syringe. Bro, you reusing boiling water? What the f- uh, come on. I am able to make the most of every food and drink that we have in this house by reusing. If it doesn't get all drunk up, I pour it back. If it doesn't get all slopped up, I put it back in its container. Bruh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm acting surprised. Of course she gonna say, it just makes sense. She's gonna save that food. That little four-year-old, little six-year-old is over here slurping and slopping on those noodles. And you know what she gonna say? You left me lunch for today. My little baby done left me lunch for tomorrow. That is disgusting. I will not share no food, no drinks. Bro, you have your plate, I have my plate. Nothing against my kid, but me as a child, bro, I will go play outside, play 12 rounds of football, dirt on hand, snot down nose, go home, touch controller, play game two hours, snort, snot, dirt, everything on that controller. Now I'm gaming, eating Cheetos, playing with the controller like nothing ever happened. Children are dirty because they don't think about it and that's okay. That's why they got they plate, they cups, and you got your cups, your plates. There's no room to mingle. Maybe I don't have a kid and I just don't understand, but never will I ever have my kid food as fucking <clears throat> seconds or thirds. Dear God, fourths. <clears throat> When I buy fruits and vegetables, I want to pay for what I eat, not for what I don't eat. There's no need to pay for the vine if all I'm eating is the grapes. I mean, is she lying? Let's be honest. I like a good anarchy. I like calling out the man. She made a good point on this. I'm not finna eat the grapevine. Granted, it's only like, I, I give it a strong 14 to 25 cent you saving. Still, I get it. I get it. I'm actually, I'm seeing it. Maybe I'm turning to the dark side. I'm gonna take a two minute shower once I'm done recording this video. Stephanie might be on the side. That'll do me justice. Probably only need about three of these. My bananas? I'm not gonna eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana itself. Just 
when I start to, I'm on your side. Remember that? I take it back. No, no fucking way. You out here pre-peeling your bananas to go on a road trip. Them bitches is brown by the time you make it home. What are you doing? Making banana pudding every fucking day? I mean, if you only using the bananas for banana pudding, she might be on the site. See, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't know how to feel anymore. Next clip. Yes, ma'am, what can I do for you? So I'm gonna need some ground beef. By any chance, if you have any other ground beef that's already left over. It's all sold. We sell it on a daily basis fresh all the time. Okay, and so there's nothing that would expire? Oh, no, ma'am, we don't. To expire. No, ma'am, we don't sell expired. It's a lot to deal with. This is a lot to deal with. She sort of got over on me with the bananas. I will give her that. But this shit, going and looking the butcher in the eyes, being like, yo, bro, I need that rotten shit. ASAP for the low. I don't get it. No. But what I can say is that she was really dedicated to her craft. She would go to Walmart. Because every time I go to fucking Walmart, it's nothing but brown meat on the goddamn shelves. Problem solved. Go to Walmart, buy your meat. Fuck Walmart. Because they always... Always, always, always let me down. Can I see what your beef fat looks like? Sure, I'll be right back. All right. Excuse me a second. Thank you. Wow, and how much would two pounds of the, the beef fat be? 1.97. And how much is that? $2.53, ma'am. I will take the beef fat. You'll take the beef fat. Bro, what the fuck is she finna do with this? I had to pause before we... I'm watching this live. This is a live reaction. I'm watching this as y'all watch. Please, if you have any idea... What the fuck she's finna do with two pounds? My fault, a pound point nine seven ounces of beef fat only? Y'all let me know. Let me bite into the lasagna and it's nothing but beef fat. I swear to let's see it, let's see it through. I have my ground beef over here. I'm going to stretch out the beef by adding the rest of this or whatever's left from this to stretch it out for the lasagna. No way she's cutting beef with beef fat to try. See, and when you say it out loud, it low-key makes sense, but that's not how any of this works. There's no meat on earth, maybe Wagyu, but I don't like Wagyu. This shit's disgusting. Either way, back on point, that's not okay. This is not it. Could y'all imagine this? I don't know what I'm trying to say because the beef fat is on the screen and it looks fucking disgusting. We just Keep it pushing forward. Let's go forward. Now to save money, I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. I just gotta make sure I wrap it really well or else the food will get wet. Bitch, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't even have to say that. No, I did. She's taking it too far. The beef is fucking, what are we talking about? You could bake a potato in the dishwasher. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You wrap it up real nice. Steam that fucking potato. Congratulations, you're weird. But this is just too far because you don't even care about the food you're cooking. At this point, you could have saved the lasagna and just did takeout because you don't give a fuck. Saving money like this ain't worth it. How much do it cost to run your oven? Stop playing. That's what your ass doing. You over here playing because the camera's around. No way in hell. I do it all the time. Hey, girl. Hey, Mr. Adrian. How you doing? Having people over, I'm not very excited. I don't want to be embarrassed. All right, all right. Bruh, hell no. Hell no. Fuck no. Because, see, one, they all in this bitch looking like the hobbits. Everybody in the dark. I would have knocked on the door and thought I was at an abandoned house, bro. Was trying to watch football, not a movie. And then, on top of that, they finna eat this nasty ass, dishwasher ass, pre-used ass lasagna in the dark. I don't eat in the dark, even in my own house. If I knew my wife was making lasagna in the dishwasher using pre-used sauce, I'm not asking anybody to come over. Bro, I will pay you to let us watch the game at your house. I will pay for everybody meal at the bar so we can go anywhere but my fucking house. He's not their friend. We got two villains on this show now. Oh. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? To be cooked in a dishwasher? The lounge tastes like water. Oh, hell no. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. Are they all passing around one plate of dishwasher lasagna? You made a whole pan of that. Stop playing. Oh my God. And he just ate the sauce that the kids ate and he don't even know it. What the fuck? This shit is not okay. And she ain't seasoned it. W-A-T-E-R. Water. How you not season something that's getting cooked? That's like, oh my fucking God. I can't even make no analogies or metaphors or like and ass similes because I don't know what to say. Y'all already saying enough. I know you are. And I'm saying enough. I know I am. I get the utmost satisfaction being the cheapskate that I am. It's for me and my family, not anybody else. I don't care what nobody says. It was the Stephanie way and the Stephanie way is the better way. I mean, hey, if you truly don't care, and that's how you feel, live your life. Who am I to tell you you living your life wrong? Obviously you ain't get sick or nothing like that, nothing crazy, just fucking yet. But on that note, that was the end of the whole Stephanie saga. I'm sorry if this is a shorter video, I'm still trying to get back into things. And I don't know any good episodes of Wife Swap. Therefore, you wanna see some Wife Swap? Please recommend me an episode, I'll check it out, record a video on it. And I'm also gonna be doing a lot more of these extreme cheap cakes. Cheap skates, they're short, they're fun. Uh, what is there to complain about? But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video, whether it's Wife Swap, whether it's a stream cheap skate, whether it's a Minecraft live stream. Hey, we do it all over here. If you wanna chat it up, conversate, maybe smoke and chill in VC while we all edit, do our own things, join the Discord. Link's gonna be in the, uh, uh, link's gonna be in the description uh shout out to bapu he's one of the guys he probably made this thumbnail he's really been pushing me to get back on this youtube shit. he's a good fucking guy you should check him out if you need any thumbnails any anything that's the guy the one man army the swiss army knife but he's british now uh drink your water enjoy your time take a nap take a break for your mental sanity and enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you on the next one goodbye Listen up all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order. Kisatsu bracelets all ready for you. Gotcha. Make you feel so easy. I'm coming on.